Why, hello there! Deadly Habit here with another Gentleman's Gaming Corner Impressions episode. Back once again from a sale on Indievania with the Metal Dead. Ah, cost me a buck and we're just gonna go straight for it. Let's see what's in the help real quick. Eh, yeah, typical point and click, interact, look, talk, walk, inventory, save, mouse, speed up the dialogue, right mouse, cycle through cursors. Ah, oh, listen to that metal. Alright, let's go. Zombies. Ah, oh, lovely. <laughs> I already like the art style of this. Obviously all hand-drawn. Aw, oh, yeah. Metal. <laughs> oh, look. Sleeping Beauty finally joined the land of the living. Or, more like land of the living dead. Am I right? Uh oh, it's a pun. Har har, how long was I asleep? Too long. You've been missing all the fun. How long? 20 minutes, give or take. Oh god, a help menu. It's Ronnie, my bearded, misanthropic, metal-loving comrade. We've been friends for way too many years now. Don't lie. You can't get enough of me, and you know it. Oh, we got a bromance going. It carries a strong scent of pine. It might come in handy. Yeah, figured as much. Never know when you might need to make something smell mountain fresh. <laughs> There's nothing on the back seat. If there was, I wouldn't want to go fumbling around. It's beyond filthy. Thanks for waking me up, you inconsiderate ass. You couldn't last 20 minutes without heavy metal. You'll thank me later, Malcolm. The way I see it, I'm doing you a favor by keeping you awake. How did you arrive at that conclusion? Come on, man. It's the undead apocalypse. This is the most epic, most metal thing that has ever happened. Ever. In the history of the world. How can you sleep at a time like this? Between the dead walking and you cranking heavy metal in our house 24 hours a day. Since this undead business started a month ago, I've been awake for way too long. Shut up for a second. Wait for it. Wait for it. <laughs> Man, that was awesome! Anyway, don't complain about the tunes, man. That's metal sacrilege. The undead apocalypse has provided the only chance to crank up the volume without the neighbors complaining. You know, since they'll... since they're all dead. Oh, oh, we got an option. I just wanted a little shut-eye. Plenty of undead still hanging around, huh? Where are we exactly? Shut up and drive. I just wanted a little shut-eye. Couldn't even grant me that. My heart is breaking. Princess won't get his beauty sleep. Bearded bitch. Whoa, he's on the jealousy, Malcolm. You only wish you could be this manly. I have Viking blood coursing through my veins. Viking blood my ass. Although, face does resemble a Viking's crotch. Silence, lesser being. How often does this apocalypse happen? Just try and enjoy the ambience, relax. Let's see if we can get rid of this damn help manual. Ah, I can't right now. Where are we exactly? In a car. You don't say. Where at? Car on a road. Where's the road? In the city. A city filled with the walking dead. This is freaking sweet. You're full of helpful information, aren't you? That's what I'm here for. It's not the only thing you're full of. What was that? Nothing. Plenty of undead still hanging around, huh? Plenty? I'd say not enough. This is like a dream come true. All those horror movies. All those apocalyptic death metal covers. There were preparation for this. The dead are walking. And more people are dying as we speak. 
I know, ain't it grand? You're a stereotypical misanthropic metalhead, Ronnie. You give us all a bad name. As if you'd taken time to wash yourself this week. I'd risk slapping you on <laughs> right in the beard. Hey, the only thing stopping me from bathing is the fact that I don't trust the water. What if it's the source of the infection? Hey, he's got a good point. We've been drinking it. I've been showering it for the past month. You know, ever since the undead took over, I'm fine. Fine, fine. Not smelling like a goat. Goats are so metal. Forget it. Okay, where are we headed? Somewhere safe, with plentiful food, clean water, and beautiful women that will cater to our every whim. Hopefully. We couldn't stay in the apartment for much longer. We need food. I need meat to eat. You're as bad as those rotting things out there, Ronnie. If it were up to you, we'd still be back there, playing video games and farting ourselves to death. While eating our dwindling supplies of canned beans. At least those dead things didn't come near our apartment. We seem to be safe there. Maybe your rancid odor was driving them away. Perhaps. I'm proud of my exquisite bouquet. It's a challenge being in a confined space with you. We better find somewhere to stop soon. I know what you mean. I gotta pinch a loaf. Charming. Oh god, they need to change scenes. This, this game seems a little bit dialogue heavy so far. Uh, wondering why I'm just gonna get to the actual adventure section. I seem to be really enjoying this. I've been waiting for this my whole life. And it's not just me. You've been waiting for it too. What is that supposed to mean? You collect movies, comics, and books about the living dead. You've shot millions of them in video games. Your favorite bands write epic songs about them. You can't seriously say you're not excited. Or at least slightly intrigued by what's going on here. Alright, I admit I want to find out what's going on. Exactly, this is an adventure, Malcolm. We're gonna find out why the dead are walking. Or we'll die trying. Don't be so negative. You're killing my buzz. Oh, see. Looks like there's more undead the more we drive. They all seem to be headed in this direction. By employing my impeccable logic, I figure something special is going on over this way. And that's why I'm following them. We're going towards the undead infestation. How else are we going to find out what's actually causing all this? No! Turn this thing around! You're gonna get us both killed! Have a little faith, Malcolm. It's like following the Necro Brick Road. I said, turn around. Nope. Okay, let's see if I can get rid of thing now. Oh, of course I won't go. Number one, I'm not leading outside the car. Number two, I really don't want to touch whatever that is on the hood. Number three... Well, I think number one and two are good enough. Even if every woman on this planet turned into a walking corpse, I still wouldn't touch Ronnie. I've seen you eyeing me, Malcolm. You don't have to deny it. I know I'm beautiful. Egg. Oh, what do we have here? A can of beans? It's a can of beans I brought from home. I'm sick of eating these things. Uh, I wonder if I can use this on Ronnie. Hey. He definitely needs to be freshened up, but I personally don't want to rub this thing on his body. You sure? It'd be a chance for something real, <laughs> for some real male bonding. I'll pass. I said turn the car around, you dolt. Nah. There are no cars on the road behind us. No people, nothing. Just the biters. It's just us. We have the, we have the road to ourselves. It's a good time to release my inner who. I'm regretting being in this car. Relax, I'm an awesome driver. Okay, what the hell do I have to do? 
not leaning over Ryan to open the door on his side, even if it might be a good idea to kick him out. Hey, now that's just cruel. 